The littoral combat ships are the U.S. Navy's fastest warships. To achieve maritime speeds of 45 miles per hour, engineers supersized the principles behind Chet Chet's racing yacht to create the Navy's first high-performance trimaran combat ship. And at Austell USA's shipyard in Alabama, the USS Tulsa is receiving its finishing touches. You can see a very fine-tuned bow designed to pierce waves. As we go further back, you see the hull widen. And just here to the right, you can see the outrigger. And again, just like those canoes with the outriggers, which give us that added stability, we get high speed. The stabilized central hull with two outriggers moves the ship displacement point upwards. This reduces drag, allowing the ship to reach speeds of over 45 miles per hour. Additionally, the ship's vast width allows for an 11,000 square foot flight deck, and the vessel can accommodate smaller boats below, extending its capabilities across the world's oceans. Primarans are stable platforms, and those are really important when you're doing things like operating helicopters, launching vehicles, and conducting high-speed maneuvers when you're doing uh, surface warfare type events. At sea level, this unique engineering is clear. You get a really good perspective of just how wide the ship is and how that trimaran design provides for stability. Commander Douglas Mayer is traveling between its outriggers, also known as AMAs. We've got over 200 feet worth of AMA tunnel here, where as the ship transits through the water at high speed, you get the very slender main body hull, and you have this AMA that's cutting the water and maintaining the ship's stability at 40 plus knots. Any other ship in the Navy, you're not gonna be underneath the main hull form of the ship like this. This is a one-of-a-kind design. 